Hello everyone, this is uh, Devin Smith and Kevin Clay from Six Sigma Development Solutions uh, and we are going to show you how to do the, um, the exercise for the ANOVA which is in the hypothesis testing module. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to drop this helicopter. We're going to drop this helicopter 10 times with, with one stabilizer and I let everybody see what the stabilizer is. It is a paper clip. Uh, so we're going to drop with one stabilizer, and then I'm sorry, t drop ten times with one stabilizer. Uh, then we're going to add a stabilizer and drop another ten times, uh, and then we're going to add another stabilizer and we're going to drop ten times again. So basically, this is uh, uh, same process, three different stabilizers to see if there's any difference between the three different processes. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so we're going to drop 10 times. This is drop number one. Right, and you should be uh, timing the drop from the time it leaves the top. And this is drop number three. Drop number four. So from the time it leaves from the top to the time it hits the ground. Drop number five. Drop number six. Drop number seven. Drop number eight. You should be putting this data into uh, mini tab or any other statistical tool. This is drop number eight, right? Nine. Nine, okay. Drop ten. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna add a stabilizer. Okay, we're gonna add one more to it. Excellent, there's the stabilizer. One, drop two, notice how it spins better, drop three, drop four, So what we're going to do now is we are going to add the third stabilizer to see if there's any, again, any effect uh, with the different stabilizers. Put that on backwards. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to drop another 10 times. What drop is that? Four. Four. Drop five. five. Drop six. Drop seven. Excellent. So again, uh, you should have uh, timed how long it took for it to get from 
uh, the time it was dropped until the time that it hit the ground. Okay, uh, and that should have given you 30 data points. Uh, those 30 data points are three different processes. You should then put those into ANOVA in Minitab or whatever statistical tool that you're using uh, and then perform the hypothesis test to see if there was a difference. So again, this is uh, Devin Smith and Kevin Clay, and we hope you have a great day. Thank you.